Welcome to the YC Filler. I'm your host, Seth Serrate. Did you know that New York City has a pair of twin parks? That's right, there are two high bridge parks. Each are separated by the East River and both are named after the oldest standing bridge in the city, the High Bridge. Manhattan's High Bridge Park is the larger of the two by a wide margin, spanning 119 acres. It houses the High Bridge Recreation Center and a pool for an operation as early as 1936, as well as a skate park and the High Bridge Water Tower. The Water Tower has been here since 1872. It was built here to increase the water pressure that was needed for the city. While the park was built between 1867 and the 1960s, most of the land was acquired between 1895 and 1901 through condemnation. The southern half is maintained by the city's Parks Department, which is currently using High Bridge as a testing ground for their pilot smart benches, part of the Smarter Parks Initiative, which seeks to improve parks through the use of technology. They even have these solar power charging stations where you could charge your phone. You could just plug your USB cord into there and then you could charge any device and then have a fully charged phone while exploring the park. Dividing the northern and southern half of the park is the High Bridge Water Tower. The octagonal tower was assembled in pieces from 1866 through 1872 to meet the city's growing demands on the water system. Its construction was accompanied by a seven acre reservoir and stands at the Manhattan end of High Bridge. The bridge was built in the mid 19th century and took 11 years to construct. When crossing the bridge, you'll be walking right above the original aqueduct pipe, right underneath us. It was part of the Croton Aqueduct System, used to carry water from the Westchester County. After the major Deegan Expressways and the Harlem River Drive's construction in 1956, the public use of the bridge faded. The river became polluted and public access discontinued in the 1960s. Over four decades later, in 2015, the High Bridge was reopened to the public and remains a picturesque landmark location for Bronx and Manhattanites. So the next time you're up in the Heights, or High Bridge, Make your way to one of the most underrated views of the city. This has been your YC Filler. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm your host, Seth Serrata.